Hey guys, welcome back to the Prep Zone Preview Show. I'm Adam Fisher here to get you primed up on everything there is to know about week seven of the high school football season. That's right, it's week seven. I know it doesn't feel like it, but we're past the halfway point. Only five Friday nights left in the 2017 regular season, including this week. Now it's kind of a slow week in terms of quantity. Only five games on Friday nights in Collier County. We do have one Thursday game to watch out for, but in terms of quality, watch out. We've got four huge county matchups and another matchup including a undefeated St. John Newman team. So let's get into it. Here are three games to watch on Friday. First up, we've got Immokalee at Palmetto Ridge and one of the most highly anticipated games of the year, at least at the beginning of the season. Now that expectations have tempered a bit with news that Demarcus Townsend has torn his ACL and Paul Meadow Ridge's star running back is out for the season. Of course, the Bears still have quarterback Jacquez Carter who can electrify and light up the scoreboard. Immokalee's offense can do that as well. They're loaded with weapons. They've got 49 points per game this season. Of course, the Palmetto Ridge defense held Naples to 29 points last week, so we'll see if they can do it again. Game number two, we've got the Catfish Bowl between the Baron Collier Cougars, who are cats, and the Gulf Coast Sharks, who are fish. So it's the Catfish Bowl. It's been a rivalry since 1998 when Gulf Coast High School opened and took with it half of Baron Collier's student population. That makes this the 20th Catfish Bowl. Baron Collier has a 16-3 edge. However, Gulf Coast won last year on Baron Collier's field, and the, Col the Cougars are looking for revenge. In our third game, our game of the week, another rivalry, the oldest continually running rivalry in Collier County. It's the Coconut Bowl. It's Laley at Naples. This game started in 1974 when Laley was still taking classes at Naples High School. It's the two oldest schools in Naples. They've been meeting every year since Laley has been open, and Naples has a 28 to 15 lead in the series. Now Laley comes in at 0-4 at Naples, which is 2-1. and one. And for more on this matchup, let's talk to Trojans head coach, Fritz Jacquez. Fritz, uh, you guys, rough season so far. You're 0-4, but you've shown some improvement, looked good at times against Dunbar. Just what are you saying to your kids to kind of keep them up, get them on track after starting 0-4? Uh, we just got to work every day, work hard every day, you know, compete every day, try to get better every day, and that's what the kids are trying to do. Have you seen them, as we said, against Dunbar? I think you held the lead for a quarter. Have you seen them kind of trending upward? Are you seeing some good things from the, from the Trojans? Yeah, I mean, when we watch film, you see a lot of good things. Uh, but, you know, we make mistakes at crucial times, and, and we got to uh, eliminate those uh, mistakes and uh, execute. Now, you yourself, a proud Lely alumni, graduated in 2004, played football here, played football in college at Kent State. What's the season been like for you? I know it hasn't gone the way you wanted so far, but to be the man in charge of where you used to play, how's that feel? Uh, I mean, it feel great, man, to uh, give back to these kids, man. I, I love these kids. I believe in them, so uh, I'm going to keep working. Uh, you know, it's been on me, so I, I got to prepare them for this Friday, and, and that's what we're doing today. Got a big one on Friday. Tell me about it. The Coconut Bowl, the longest continually running rivalry in Collier County, dates back to when Laley opened in 1974. What does this rivalry mean to these fans, to this team, to you yourself? Uh, man, it's a, it's a beautiful thing, man. Uh, Naples High is a, a great program, you know, with great coaches, a, a Hall of Fame coach. Uh, I think the defensive coach should be a Hall of Fame coach as well. Uh, but, you know, for us, you know, if you're a competitor, you, that's what you want. You want to play against the best. And, and uh, what, what a better opportunity than Friday night competing against the best team in Southwest Florida. So we're excited. With our player spotlight, I'm here with Laley safety, Hakeem Dierty. Now, Hakeem, it's been kind of a rough season, a rough start to the season for the Trojans. However, you guys have shown some, some flashes of brilliance in certain games. Just 0-4, how are you guys staying positive and moving forward in spite of that? I mean, we really just pick up the younger kids because we have so many of them. So we got to let them know that it's okay to mess up sometimes and we make mistakes sometimes, but just refocus and play your game. You guys have your third coach in three years, but it's a coach that you guys know and love, Fritz Jacquez, Laley alumni. What's it like playing for Coach Fritz? Oh, man, uh, he brings the energy for sure. Every day in practice, he, he gets his hype and... The energy that we have this year is, is so different. Do you guys feel uh, last week against Dunbar, I think you held the lead for a little bit against a really good Dunbar team. Do you feel like you're trending in the right direction? Do you see that improvement you're looking for? Yeah, we've been making improvements ever since spring. I mean, the defense is improving a lot. The offense, 
we're improving a lot every single week. So I think that we're on an upwards trend and we're really improving. Now you got a big opponent coming up, the Coconut Bowl against Naples High School. Uh, I think Naples has won seven in a row against Laley. How do you guys change that come Friday? I mean, just play our game and focus on our assignments and don't focus on what they're doing. So there you have it, guys. As I told you, the Coconut Bowl, one of just four big county matchups and another big game involving St. John Newman this week. Stay up to date on everything there is to know about high school football in Collier County at naplesnews.com slash prep zone. We've got a poll ranking the teams. We've got stats. We've got previews of every game, pictures on Friday nights, and, of course, video. So stay with us. Follow me on Twitter. I'm at NDN underscore Adam. We'll have all the updates on Friday nights. And as always, when it comes to high school football, we got you covered.